Hi there folks, I'm the bathtub again to show my latest uh, handmade lures. All of these lures are made of abachi wood. Uh, to seal them, I've soaked them in a 50-50 mixture of uh, boiled linseed oil and turpentine. And these are actually the first ones I have brush painted with uh, acrylic paints. Here's an own design of mine with a screw on lip, very weird looking lure. Alright, next one. This is a big trolling lure. Has a homemade rattles inside. Uh, I've displayed these rattles on YouTube before, made of a 8mm brass tubing. There's a video about how to make them on my channel. Uh, actually, I've made some of this type of lures before in smaller sizes. And I'm pretty much surprised how deep these actually dive without even an added lexan or, or sheet metal lip, just the integrated diving vein here. Uh, I assume this one would go down uh, 15 feet. I'm very sure about that because the smaller versions go down 10 feet. Also made of abachi like all the lures I'm displaying. Okay, next one. Here's actually a deep diver uh, with a self-centering line tie. I hope it works. The Lexan lip, 3mm Lexan, is pinned here with two wire pins. Of course glued as well. Also has this uh, rattle inside. Uh, okay. 8mm brass tubing rattle. Uh, the problem about this uh, abachi wood is uh, and linseed oil treatment uh, that sometimes after a few months or years it tends to sweat out to uh, render all light colors somewhat brownish. Uh, it doesn't affect the top coat but uh, um, it's looking ugly so what I did with this bunch here after they have dried from the linseed oil treatment uh, I have uh, applied two coats of epoxy on the sheer wood okay here's a jointed lure should not dive that deep as I said this is the first bunch of mine painted with acrylic paints uh, gives me much more possibilities compared to the model making animals. Here's another uh, deep diver with a self-centering line tie. Also has this metal rattle inside. Also of a bachi wood. Okay. Um. Here's a big one of a bachi. Actually, this is a weight shifting lure as well. Has a bar, lengthwise bar with uh, seven millimeter lead balls inside that shift up and down. Guess you can hear it now to improve the casting performance. Uh, this one is plated with uh, aluminium plumbers tape, and I got a small. Uh, pattern embossed with kind of a screw also painted with model making animals. Note this uh, belly hook hanger screwed on with the screws passing left and right of the central bar. Okay, here's the last one. Looks actually the same like the previous one. Only difference is that the head portion is kept a little fatter this is uh, to gain more buoyancy due to the heavy aluminium lip. Also has this lengthwise bore. You can hear the weight shifting as well. Though on this lure they do not roll so nice for some reason. Okay, I'm going to give them a swim now. Okay, let's start out with the little weird looking lure. My own design. Yeah, I guess if one reels it in faster it will blow out. 
So, but it's uh, very nice for slow retrieves during summer. Now, let me see whether it does blow out. No, it doesn't. Anyway, very pronounced. It's uh, almost like screwing itself through the water. Okay, that was not intended. Uh, probably some of pike would take this one. All right, next one. Um, now the uh, triple jointed lure. I estimate. Don't know whether you can hear the sound of the sections banging together. I'll keep quiet for a moment. Yeah, nice one. Of course, all lures will have to be tuned in the outdoors to track through. All right, now this little copper deep diver, copper colored with yellow belly. Nice action. Only question remains is whether the self-centering toe eye would really function. I'm not that convinced about it do not have enough experience. Can you hear the rattle? I don't know. I will keep quiet again. My homemade uh, rattles of uh, 8 millimeter brass tubing and two BBs inside. What a nice lure. Okay. Now the other deep diver with the uh, self-centering toy. Yeah, this one should go down at least 15 feet as well. Don't know whether one can hear the rattle on video, whether the camera captures the sound. I only hope this uh, self-centering toe wire affair will work out. But if I don't try, I won't know. Okay. Uh, now comes the big lures. That's going to be a problem in the small bathtub because they use, usually take some distance to kick to work. You see? This one has a lazy wiggle and looks like it's pulling to one side, requires toe white tuning. Uh, this is better suited for autumn pike with its sluggish action. After my experience, the colder the water gets towards autumn and winter, the more sluggish your lure action has to be. Okay, now the uh, weight shifter. Let me see, the balls, hmm, doesn't hang up right, ah, uh, that's not that good though, it's because it does not have any ballast weight in, deep in the belly, uh, 
it doesn't blow out but I'm not that satisfied well probably they say pike like such rocking action this is because the weight sit too high away from the belly yeah but this lure I have to try it outdoors at least it's not a reject uh, would like to hear your opinion about this one I don't like the action too much but last word is spoken by the pike not by the angler or the lure carver okay now the last one the big weight shifter with the screw on metal lip that one works better but also has this exaggerated sideward swing this is because uh, the weight sit a bit more to the inside from the belly if you would have a lure without these uh, internal shifting weights and put the ballast just close to the belly outline it would not swing that exaggerated uh, but it's okay I like this one even better than the previous one with the Lexano lip. Uh, only problem about this one is that the weights do not shift properly. They bind sometimes. Guess the ball is too narrow. Uh, but anyway, none of my lures today is a reject. Um, I guess they can still attract fish. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.